Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Augustine and I'm the career advice expert for Top Resume, the largest resume writing service in the world. Uh, every week I answer your job search questions that are sent in. You can always go to topresume.com and click on career advice to submit your questions as well. But this week I'm going to do a little special edition for the holidays. Uh, I have a number of questions from some very well-known professionals out there and give them my two cents about how I can help them move their careers forward. This one comes from Mrs. Claus. She says, now that the elves are all grown up and out of the house, I have some time on my hands. My husband is always traveling for work. I'd like to get back into the workforce as well. Where do I start? Ah. Yeah, this is, a, you know, this is actually a very common issue these days. There are a lot of people are saying, okay, my kids are out of the house or they're not so young anymore and you know what, we'd like a little bit more income, but now I have this gap on my resume. What in the world do I do about this and how do I get myself back into the marketplace and, and make myself marketable, right? Uh, Ms. Claus, excellent question. Here's what I recommend. One, take a step back and think about what are you gonna do next? Are you trying to get back into the industry that you were in X number of years ago, or are you looking to go a different direction? I don't think everybody has to go back into the industry that they left. Uh, in fact, some of the activities you've been a part of since you've been out of the traditional workforce may be really great selling points to transition to a new role. So take a step back and really think about what have I been doing while I was raising my children and caring for this home or, or you know, taking care of, of an ailing parent? What have I been doing? What skills have I been building? What have I been exposed to? Perhaps you were involved in, in your children's activities or perhaps you got really into certain charities while you were you know, um, home. Think about those sorts of things. Maybe you become a really great yogi. Whatever it is, those may lend yourself to different career paths. So keep that in mind. Also take stock of your network. I will say anytime your resume is not going to be this perfect progression where you're going to be this perfect fit for, for a role, um, and there's gonna be red flags such as a huge gap in, in your employment or job hopping or any of those issues. Um, a straight up resume is gonna be a challenge and networking is going to become a really, really core part of your job search strategy. So think about all the people you've met and become friends with, acquaintances with, um, while you've been out of the workforce. Think about who is still in the workforce that you used to work with, whether you managed them or worked with them or worked for them. And now that you have a better sense of what you want to do next in your career, who's the most, who's the most, bleh, who is the most important person to speak to that may be able to help you figure out some job leads or help you fill some gaps in, in your skill set now that you're ready to search for a job again. So. Just to um, rephrase, one, figure out what that job goal is. Just getting back into the job market isn't clear enough. Are you trying to get back into what you were doing before? Are you trying to go a different direction based on activities you've been a part of since you were out of the traditional workforce? Do you want to go back full time? Or are you looking for something with more flexibility? These are all things to consider because this, um, whatever your job goal is, is going to shape your job search strategy. Once you have a better idea of what you want to do, then you need to reassess your network. Um, and it doesn't just have to be people for, that you've worked with in the past. Um, who have you met through friends, through family, through activities with your children, through your own personal interests? Who have you met along the way? And start figuring out who they know and who's going to be most important. Um, somebody who would have never been important before may be a really key person to speak to now if your interests have changed in terms of your career direction. Also, once you have a better idea of what you want to do, look for those skill gaps. Talk to people who are in the industry you want to be in or you want to get back into and figure out what are the tools they all know, what are the publications they're reading, who are the thought leaders that they're following on social media. You need to get back into that game. You need to know what's going on in whatever industry you're pursuing. And if there are certain skills that you never had to acquire before or you need to um, refine because you haven't had to flex those muscles in a while, now is the time to figure out what courses could you be taking, who could you be talking to, what could you be doing to make yourself more marketable for whatever type of role you're pursuing now. The last thing I'd put out there is that if you're looking for a job, 
um, and you want to get back into your old industry, I want you to Google the term returnship. It's like internship, only it's returnship. This is actually becoming quite popular. There's a number of sites out there. If you Google that term, you will come up with a huge list of them. But these are, um, this is this new thing that's been going on for I'd say the last, I don't know, maybe five years or so, where very large organizations are trying to get more women back into their offices. And they've created these returnships for anybody who's been unemployed for two or more years and is looking to get back into their industry. It's an opportunity that can be anywhere from about three to four to six months long. Um, they're typically paid, though again, it's more like internship pay, but it's an opportunity where you get back into the workforce, you're getting relevant experience, you're building up skill sets that have been missing or you haven't had to use in a while, um, reconnecting with a lot of people in your desired industry, and you're also providing some service, obviously, to the corporation. This is a really nice solution for helping you get back into the workforce um, while also, you know, getting some great experience back on your resume so you have something at the top of your resume now that's relevant and recent. I wish you the best of luck with your job search. Just make sure you also get that resume updated. Take care.